The overall goal of this experiment is to determine the ability of adjuvants of interest to generate cytotoxic T lymphocytes by monitoring adoptively transferred CFSE stained OT1 CD8 positive T cell proliferation in the draining lymph nodes and spleens of immunized recipient animals. This method can uh, help to answer key questions in the vaccinology fields like the potency of an adjuvant to generate a cytotoxic T cell response. The main advantage of this technique is that you can determine not only the CTL capacity of an adjuvant, but also if this is local or systemic, and you can do it only in four days. Demonstrating the procedure will be a technician in our lab, Elena Reinhal. To isolate thigh 1.1 positive CD8 positive T cells from OT1 mice, first harvest the spleen and inguinal, axillary, and cervical lymph nodes according to standard protocols, placing all of the organs into a 100 micrometer pore mesh strainer and a 60 millimeter petri dish containing 3 to 5 milliliters of complete medium on ice per mouse as they are collected. Do not harvest enlarged OT1 spleens or lymph nodes because the T cells from these lymph tissues might be leukemic and will proliferate even without stimulation, confounding the assay results. When all of the organs have been retrieved from each donor animal, use a syringe plunger to mash the samples through the mesh filter. And transfer